What's up, all you cool cats and kittens? That's mine now. That's how we're starting everything, every video from now on. What's in the background there? Well, hello. Happy Friday. It's not Good Friday this time. Hey, 24 people in already. That's awesome. So we have a little bit of agenda today, and the agenda is not going to be um, eating pickles. That was ridiculous. Thank you all for watching. I appreciate that. But that was absolutely ridiculous, and I can't believe any of you watched that, to be honest. So let's just kind of get this. We clean out a spot in the corner of the room there. I don't know if you notice, there's not like stuff there anymore. So we're getting some new stuff tomorrow. If you want to put a guess in the comment section below, I will uh, tell you if you're right. And if you're wrong, well, I guess you're wrong then. All right. Um, I asked for a bunch of questions. I asked for a bunch of questions before uh, to see if you just want to like start off right, uh, like that. But also I want to talk about dream reptiles as well. So there's, I, I did three, my top three, I was going to do five, but then I forgot to go back to the list and find two more that I thought about. So uh, my top three. So if you want to put in the comment section below your top three, um, that would be really, really cool. So yeah, put your top three down there and uh, we can talk about what your dream reptiles are. My dream reptiles, and we'll just start this off right away. Or you know what, let's get to a question first. How, uh, how did you get into reptiles and the goal for the channel? So, and this is something, so I'm going to answer a question. I'd love to hear you answer the question also, just to kind of read like how you guys got started or whatever the question is. Um, and with this, for it was kind of like a mistake, not really a mistake, but like I've always been into reptiles. When I was a kid, I wasn't allowed to have reptiles though. Like my parents were not cool with that. They don't want reptiles in their house. So then when I got old enough to have rept to pay rent at my house, at my parents' house, I decided that I was going to just go ahead and have reptiles because... I pay rent there, so I'm going to do what I want. And then a girl that I knew, uh, that I worked with, she had a bearded dragon. She gave me that bearded dragon. And then I got another one from the same girl. And then, because they bred and they had babies, so I had to, uh, and then I got two babies. So, yeah, that's how I got into reptiles, basically. And then I got a bearded, or a leopard gecko not too long after that. And that was, like, almost ten years ago. Nine years ago this month, actually. So... Yeah, he's probably 10 or 11 years old. So, anyway, how did you guys get into reptiles? Me too. I have one. First ball, python. No one really answered. Okay, we'll move on to the next question then, and then we'll get into the top three reptiles or, like, bucket list reptiles. Someone told me to talk about carpet pythons. I think carpet pythons are freaking awesome. Yeah, Cheech, that's right. Carpet pythons are awesome. I, I would love to have one. It's just, it's a big, sort of arboreal snake. I don't really have the room for one. And then I would like to get one that's socialized because I know, like, I get made fun of for this. I just don't like getting bit by snakes. Like, it's not my thing. I'm not really a big fan of uh, getting bit by snakes. So, I don't know, maybe one day, but today is not that day. Um, just ginger ale. Uh, so, yeah, carpet pythons maybe one day when I have, a, like, a bigger uh, room, bigger facility, whatever. Uh, his are going to be lame. And, all right. Okay, one more question before we answer this. How do you handle toads or uh, amphibians? And this is really interesting. Now, with frogs, I just recommend, like, don't handle them unless you have to. Because with amphibians, their skin is porous. So they're going to be able to take in your the oils in your skin and uh, anything really through their skin. So I wouldn't recommend. But toads are a little bit different. They're a different animal, literally. And they've got, like, this warty type of uh skin so they're a little bit more protected than a frog or a salamander so i think that the handle toads on occasion always wash your hands make sure your hands are clean and uh but i wouldn't have to worry i wouldn't worry about toads as much as say frogs or salamanders so that's my opinion on that now let's get into top three reptiles would you guys put uh do you know yeah i no one answered Okay. Oh, rhino iguana, Amazon basin tree boa, and Boland's python. Those are actually all great. Uh, rhino iguana, if so, it wasn't on my top three, but I'll add that in there. The thing is, I live in Canada, and we can't have rhino iguanas legally. Legally, we cannot bring rhino iguanas into the country. So that'll never happen for me, unfortunately. And uh, someone, one of the people here, was talking about how. Uh, my list is going to be boring. And in Canada, we're not allowed to have certain things, but we're allowed to have Fiji iguanas. So in some parts of the country, and the U.S. isn't. So that's pretty cool. I don't want one, though. I don't have any interest in iguanas except rock iguanas and rhino iguanas. So, uh, and someone else said, I saw it. 
Argentine black and white tegu, mangrove snake, and a retic. Okay, those are cool. So for me, Argentine black and white tegu, that's one. And I know that I featured them in the last, in yesterday's video, which thank you guys for watching. It's already at six and a half thousand views. Like that's, that's the fastest my video, any of my videos have ever gone that. So thank you very much. If you haven't watched already, I appreciate it if you do and uh, put it in the comment section if, if you do like it. So that's really cool. Uh, all right. So black and white tegu is one and we can get them in this country and we can keep them. You need a lot of room. Obviously they're very difficult to find and they're really expensive. Like if you can find one for five or 600 bucks, that is a steal of a deal, like as a baby. So black and whites are cool, but you need a lot of room. Uh, and I could keep them outside for four months of the year, but for the other, I can't. So uh, Burmese pythons are the second one. So uh, Burmese pythons, just because in terms of big snakes, and I know I talked about in the last episode, just get a boa, just get a boa. I have a boa. I've got a boa, uh, I've got two boas. I got a common boa, BCI, and I got a Durbles boa, which we'll talk about later because someone asked uh, for that. But I think that Burmese pythons are just bigger than any boa is going to get most of the time. So a boa is going to get big. It's going to get thick. It's a big, impressive animal. They come in a bunch of different colors and patterns. And I just love berms. I love them. They're fantastic. So maybe one day, but that's one of those things too, where maybe I would want to be at a level where I've got like a second person employed to help me with animals because my girlfriend could help me, but she's not always home. So if I had someone who was in like, yeah, that'd be, you know, like, uh, go herping. He's got a, a couple employees to help him. I would love to get to a level like that where I've got people able to help me and I can use, have more animals, uh, to show to a bigger audience. So we'll see how it, how it goes. Uh, and the, the last one, this is the boring one for most people. I would love, uh, I would love, uh, a tortoise because a lot of people can have tortoises and they're cheap. Like in the States, I saw that a uh, cherry head, I think it was, or maybe it was just a red foot was like 110 bucks here that's five or 600 bucks like that's crazy so that's why i don't have one I, and also they take up a lot of room so take up a lot of room and uh yeah yeah so tortoise would be number three and we'll put a rock iguana or a uh, rhino iguana but at the end of the day can't have one in this country so unless i move uh but someone did ask me to marry them earlier in the stream, so I wonder if they're American. Maybe they can sponsor me and I can move. I'll have to get a permission slip from my girlfriend. We'll see how it goes. Uh, and I had a few more questions too, because I asked in the community section and in this uh, chat here, this chat here, before it started, so that if you wanted to have one answered early. So let's just take care of those, because they're they're good questions also. Uh, venomous keepers. How do venomous keepers? What's my opinion on them? And like how they show it on uh, YouTube. Certain ones, no problem. I think that if you glamorize being bitten and having your finger taken off by a king cobra, I don't know, it's kind of like hacky. It obviously works, you get lots of subscribers, but I think that's pretty hacky. I think that the idea for me is to show people these reptiles and why they're good, not to scare people. I don't like getting bit on camera. Uh, I don't do videos about how many times I can get bit. Oh, if I smell like a dog, do I get bit? If I smell like another snake, will a king snake bite me? I think all that stuff is crap content. I do not do that. Um, but in terms of venomous, there's a there are certain reasons you'd want to keep venomous, and I don't want to at all. Am I talking? Yeah. Who do you think I'm talking about? Is there someone else like that? Uh, yeah, and I don't dislike that guy or his channel. I just think that idea, especially for someone who is as high up, the guy who owned the Cobra, like to, I don't know why you use that content, but it is what it is. Uh, definitely not you. All right. Um, so my opinion is I don't have a problem with it. Just don't glamorize it and just make like a statement. Hey, don't do this. <laughs> you know, very simple like that. Uh, yeah, but I don't dislike them. I don't have a problem with them. It is what it is. You do what you do. I think venomous reptiles are awesome. And in fact, I was supposed to do a collab with someone who had a venomous reptile, a uh, venomous snake, before this whole thing that we're going through uh, started. So maybe I'll do that after, but I just can't right now. 80 people. Thank you very much for watching. This is crazy. I've never had this many people watch at the same time. So uh, one more question, I think, before we start going to the, the feed here. This is something that uh, maybe only interests a few of you, but... Someone asked me, and there's a few reptile channels on here that are, are uh, like just getting started, like on the ground floor, and they're asking, how do I stand out? Because I've had a little bit of success on this platform. Like, not, not, like I'm not highly successful, but 
uh, I hit 17.1 thousand today. So thanks everyone who hit that subscribe button. I really appreciate that. But my opinion on this is very simple. I think the reason that I've had some sort of a success and uh, for everyone who's watching, you know, like, let me know, is this why you hit? Uh, the most important thing is big personality. And like, if you were to sit in this room and I talk to you like this, you'd think I'm a crazy person, but the camera takes away, the camera adds 10 pounds, they say. Well, the camera takes away 30% of your enthusiasm. So, and the other thing too is professional quality. And obviously this isn't professional quality. Like half my face is like in the shadow and it's overexposed. Uh, but I'm, I'm trying to get a webcam. If anyone has a webcam that it can ship to Canada now, that'd be awesome. I'd really appreciate that. But unfortunately, I can't find one here. Um, yeah, my head shine does blind people. It's ridiculous. But big personality and great audio is number one. So make sure your audio is on point. Th this video is not a good example of this. Uh, really good uh, production value as well. People will not stand and watch something that it, it is looks like you know, a 12 year old put it together. So good production value and then just keep, keep it moving. So like now this is a bad example again, because the camera's not moving, but do pans, do zooms. No one cares about this topic. We'll move on. Now, if you have questions about this in your YouTube channel and you want my uh, opinion on it, just shoot me a message on Instagram or something and we'll talk about it. So let's, go, let's, we're taking callers. What up with the leopard gecko eggs? Oh, so you guys saw that. So I posted those. So those hatched, I think, on Tuesday. Today's Friday. So I posted it on Patreon on Tuesday. Um, I'll plug it, mine as well, for 82 of you. If anyone wants to be uh, a Patreon supporter, it's as little as a dollar a month. It really helps out. It just goes to newer enclosures for the animals or whatever else. So for those of you who have already joined, I really appreciate it. You guys are awesome. Um, and those of you who can't, I totally understand. It's a weird time right now. Thank you for tuning into the videos. That's what I'm here for. Uh, I sub because of how readily you take recommendations from, yeah, I do. I really do. And I'm obviously reading your comment right now. So that kind of holds true. I just feel like at the end of the day, no matter how big you get, I know at a certain point, your channel, you can't respond to everybody, but do your best and just kind of like, no one cares about you if you don't have viewers. Like, your viewers are the only people that care about you, so just kind of treat them good, I guess is what I'm trying to say here. Uh, any advice on getting a banded gecko to eat? I don't know much about banded geckos. I think they're awesome, though. They're really cool. I watched a herping video from Arizona where they were uh, catching banded geckos. Thank you. I plan on old reptiles. I appreciate that. Thank you very much. Uh, Professor Hurt, yeah, you do care about me because you signed up for Patreon and also you talk to me every day. So, and if you haven't gone to Professor Herp's channel, go subscribe to that guy. He he gave me a lot of footage. He let me use a lot of which I could do anyway because of how YouTube works. But I don't know. I never use people's footage unless I ask, and he is more than happy to lend me his footage. So, Professor Herp, thank you very much. Tegu and Aki footage and uh, the bearded dragon and the tortoise. So basically, all the footage from the last video. So thanks, Professor Herp, for that. Uh, Black-headed pythons. Can I do a black-headed python? Sure. What I need everyone to do here, all 80 of you, need to send me $1,000 right now so I can afford to buy a black-headed python, and then we'll do a black-headed python video. <laughs> There's actually a pair that's available here uh, where I live in Niagara. It's $5,000 for the pair. $5,000 for a pair of snakes. That might die tomorrow, by the way. Obviously, if you, they shouldn't, but it's very, I don't know, it's sketchy to me to buy something like that where there's no market for it because they've been for sale for like six months and the price has been dropping. But obviously if they can't sell them, why would I buy them? Like it's good for education. I'll never make the money back. But if I even bred them to sell them, I how can I sell them if no one buys, you know what I mean? So yeah, black and pythons are freaking awesome. A Woma python, I would highly consider buying. In fact, if I could find one, I would love a Woma. I think they're awesome. 87 people watching this garbage. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Uh, man, my head is like blinding 87 people at the same time. This is a new record. What kind of parrot? I have, I have, I saw that on Kijiji. Oh, so you're local. Okay. Everyone else is like, what's a Kijiji? 90 people. Holy cow. Blinding 90 people. If we get up to a hundred people, I will, I don't know what I'll do. I'm not eating any more pickles today. Uh, what kind of parrot? I have a Indian ringneck parakeet. I've got a video about it on, uh, in, uh, YouTube, the platform that I do. And uh, his name is Zazu. He's kind of temperamental right now. He's like going through this uh, like puberty thing. That's my girlfriend's parrot. It's not my parrot. I don't really do anything with it. In fact, I kind of make fun of him. I like talk. I talk mad dirt to him. So 
He knows how to say, I'm a terrorist, I'm a terrorist, whatever. Uh, if your leopard, if your leopard gut goes plea, they don't plea for anything, actually. They just get worms. They don't even have to ask. What do you think about children's pythons? Funny you should ask. Children's pythons, spotted pythons, and hill pythons. They're all part of the same family. I think they're awesome. Spotted pythons are one of my favorite. I love spotted pythons. Uh, yeah, I think we'll include them in a video soon because I just love them. I, th I think small pythons are really, really cool. Um, how do people shave your beard? Not a chance, dude. Okay, how about this? If we make uh, $300 on the Super Chats today, I'll shave my beard. How about that? Let's do that. Okay, uh, and I'll put all that money towards uh, buying new enclosures to make new videos for you. So, not that I'm being greedy. It is what it is. Uh, don't shave your beard ever. Yeah, thank you very much. You're the person who asked if I would marry you. You have to ask my girlfriend about that. What do you think about a red-tailed boa? I think red-tailed boas are freaking awesome. I have one. She's a little bit sketchy, but uh, she's getting there. Like, we're, we're working with her. We're handling her a little bit more, so we'll see how it goes. Uh, 300 bucks to shave your beard and then eat it. Deal. Sounds good. If your leopard gecko is skinny, can you switch to waxworm diet? Ah, yes. To like just kind of jumpstart uh, or hornworms work well too. But don't make your staple diet uh, waxworms. That's, don't do that. I'll marry your girlfriend too. My girlfriend's pretty awesome. You'd like her. Trust me. I got the best girlfriend ever. I don't think she'd marry you though. We'll see. I don't know. I still haven't asked her to marry me. So, we'll, like, we'll go one step at a time. Uh, we, what state are you in? I am in uh, Canada, eh? Can't you tell by the way I talk, eh? My beavers, my caribou and stuff, eh? Ontario is the province that I live in. Um, if, okay, if I completely had to pick only three. Egyptian egg-eating snake, Baron's racer, or Diamondback water snake. Egyptian egg-eater. If you have a, a supply of eggs, for sure. When do you sell your babies? I'm moving to the Niagara region ASAP. WickensWickedReptiles.com. I have a question for you guys, and put it, I want an answer. If I said to you, if someone said said, so let's suppose you're me, and someone messages you on Instagram and says, uh, uh, talk about the other street, like Daughtry. Ew, gross. If someone said to you, me, hey, can I buy a snake? And I said to you, yeah, well, it's on the website. Would you type in WickensWickedReptiles.com first, or would you ask first? Try it. <laughs> it's wickedswickedreptiles.com. Uh, thanks. Uh, super. I want one super bad. Wicked movie. Uh, five ball pythons. That's cool. Do you have any advice for rehoming a bearded dragon? Asking for a friend. Uh, yeah. Talk to talk to a reptile store and see if they know someone who's in the market. That's what I would suggest first. Tie up it first. Don't know what that means. If you if you were to get a varanid and had space for one, what would you get? Uh, an Aki monitor, no question. If you're in the States uh, and you wanna buy an Aki monitor, Professor Herb's gonna start breeding them. So anyway, if I if they weren't a CITES animal, I would buy one from him, but I can't get one in Canada because they don't wanna traverse the border. So I tell you, well, yeah. Man, I love Aki's. Even, so Professor Herb and I talk almost daily and he's kinda of like cemented but not start, but you'll have them available is what I meant. I has cemented my love for Ackies, but I've always loved them because I've always been interested in species that are not huge just because I can't keep stuff outside. So anyway, that's the reason for that. I'm starting to DIY build, enclosure, bioactive, my thoughts. Would you rather a smaller animal in a huge enclosure or a huge animal in a small enclosure? What? I should just eat pickles. In Ottawa. No, not Ottawa. I'm six hours away from Ottawa. Uh, I have a Sav and Kylie Stanley. I think you just went on Patreon, right? You're on Patreon. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. That was like an hour ago. Not even. Would you recommend a boa constrictor for an 11-year-old? Okay, so let's think about this. So if you get a baby boa, right? This is the thing I want you to understand about boas. If you get a baby, it's not going to, like, a full moon's not going to happen and, they're, uh, and then it turns into a six-foot snake overnight. That's not how it works. It'll be an eight foot snake in four years or something like that, right? An eight foot is like a big BCC, basically up to 10 feet, but you know what I mean? Uh, so for an 11 year old, let's suppose uh, it depends. Like, are you always around? Maybe not. Maybe, maybe a ball python. And then when he turns like 16, a bow might be, I don't know. If this is like a, there's no way to say yes for this age. 
Maybe, but maybe not. What if your leopard gecko is skinny? Can you feed it waxworms? I already answered your question. Blue tegus are awesome. Very similar to black and whites, I think, right? They're awesome. Do you think reptile shop in my town? They don't have a reptile shop in my town. Do they have one in the town over? Uh, what are your opinions on bat eaters? I did a video on uh, hybrids. Bat eaters are freaking cool, man. Bat eaters are awesome. But also, uh, I mean, some people don't like hybrids. I think they're cool because you can get like the temperament of a cool snake and the size and the look of a fast snake. And then you get like, that's why people like blood python and ball python mixes. So I don't know. I think they're cool. I don't think they actually eat bats though. How can I get my parents to be open for reptile pets? I have a whole video on that. Go watch it. How uh, can you recommend a few good beginner lizards for a four by two by two? Uh, Blue Tongue Skank, Ozzy Osbourne, oh, <laughs> that's funny, can you convince my parents to love reptiles, no, but that video that I pointed to probably could, 95 people, oh my, oh my goodness, we're almost at a point where I'm blinding 100 people with my bald head, if you had space and laws, and it only weren't an issue, what is the most crazy reptile you would get, Probably like a big monitor, I think. Because if I had a, if I had space and money and like there were no laws, I think a big monitor would be cool. But that's the thing, right? Is like a big monitor, you need like a ton of space for it. And I know people get mad at me. Oh, you don't need a whole backyard for a monitor. Well, I don't think an 8x3 box is good for a water monitor. Sorry. Don't agree with that. So I need a big space. So that uh, probably a big monitor of some sort. My dogs are barking. No one's here. No one's allowed here. It's quarantine season. I'm in the market for a berm so I can breed them. That's cool. Uh, cobra, alligator for me. Cobras, no. Where can I get a bearded anole in the UK? Your guess is as good as mine, dude. My question was poorly worded earlier. My bad. What species would work well in a 5x3x2 bioactive? So these questions are kind of... I don't want to say silly, but these questions, what do you like? Because if I suggest to you a blue tongue skink, but you don't like blue tongue skinks, but anyway, my answer is that, blue tongue skink, try that. Uh, I want a blue tongue skink, they're just so amazing. They really are. Crocodile monitors are wicked. Could you ever get a green tree python emerald tree boa? If I got an arboreal snake, that would be it, right? I have one tattooed on me, literally. But I don't know, at this time, just with the space I have, it's not something that I'm interested in, but maybe down the road, for sure. What is the next reptile you're looking to get? I asked you at the beginning to guess. I cleared out a whole spot. I'm getting two tomorrow. They're going to live in the same enclosure. All the anti cohab people are just going to flee away right now. But anyway, I'm getting two tomorrow. Oh, thank you very much. Paul Dillon, coming through with five quid. Is that what you call it? Quid? Cool. What do you think about Asian water monitor, black throat monitor, caiman lizards? Uh, those are my dream pets in the process of buying a water monitor. My opinion is Asian water monitors need a much bigger enclosure. 99 people, we're almost there. And uh, then most people will recommend. I don't think a three by, by eight is big enough. I think they need a lot of space, they need a lot of food, they need a lot of care, uh, but they're awesome. I think caiman lizards, if I had to get something that needed a really big enclosure with a big water receptacle, caiman lizards would be it because I think they are so beautiful. They look what do they call them? Water tegus? A lot of people call them. They're not actually a tegu, but people call them that. I don't know. My opinion to you, Dylan, or Paul Dylan, sorry. Wow. Send me money. I'll mispronounce your name. Paul, I think that all those species are fantastic. Cayman lizards of those are my favorite, by the way, for sure. And just so you know, I don't know, it, it translates five quid is $7.60 Canadian. 100 people. I'm blinding 100 people with my bald head. Cool. Uh, is it quid? Am I stupid? Pounds? I, I watched Top Gear when I was a kid, and they always say quid. Is that a thing? I feel so stupid. The guy whose money smells like maple syrup and is colored doesn't know. Yeah, I'm dumb. It's fine. Leopard gecko or African fat tail. They did a whole video about that last week. Up to you. I mean, they're both very similar. It's just kind of like a preference, like orange or black. I don't know. Which one do you like? Uh, pounds. Five quid or a fiver. So is quid a pound? Is that how that works? I don't know. I hear people say it. it makes me sound a lot cooler. Five quid, mate. Uh, quid is slang. Kind of like how... Oh, okay. Cool, cool. All right. Perfect. Awesome. All right. Uh, we're at the point already where I need to blow my nose, but I won't because I have 101 people watching. Would a doom, rolls, a doom roll monitor be good? What's a doom roll monitor? I don't even know that's a thing. That's cool. 
Pence is sense, right? Like a pen, a pent is a scent. Is that all right? Uh, would you think about jungle carpet pythons? I think carpet pythons are awesome. I answered this at the top of the uh, live stream. Carpet pythons are awesome. I just don't have room for a bigger boreal snake like that. But yeah, I think they're freaking cool. But uh, wait, did you say jungle? Man, I'm so dumb. Yeah, but jungles have the wobble, right? So I don't know if I should be promoting that. Uh, Dumericles mothers are awesome. Clint's reptiles has a good video on them. Man, I didn't even know about them. I watch Clint sometimes too. I heard he swears in his live streams. So that seems pretty weird. Can you imagine Clint just coming out cussing? I know bigger is better, but is there any animal that can live in a 10 gallon its whole life? Ah, uh, there's a few. An axolotl could live in a 10 gallon its whole life. I got a whole rack back here. Oh, I didn't even unplug it. You could probably just hear them. Uh, if you flipped it like vertically, you could put a crested gecko in a 10 gallon. I prefer bigger, but I mean, you could. Uh, I want a children's python. You should get one. Would you be happy if I got a spotted python instead? Uh, there's no, no, there's so, uh, whew, reading out loud. There's so many and we could get into a breeder, breeding hobby of ball pythons. More research required. Uh, you're probably answering somebody. What extinct reptiles would you like to keep? I did a video about that too. Top five extinct reptiles. I and mean, if I could keep one, a titanoboa, I think it'd be really sensible. I think if the, if titanoboas were still available, uh, still around, that would be the perfect beginner reptile for sure. What do you think? What up? Just got here. Anything I missed? Well, it's been going on for 26 minutes. I need to blow my nose, but I can't. And there's 102 people watching, which I'm blinding with my bald head. I'll stop saying that. It's getting old. What's the smallest reptile that would eat a large rat as an adult? Ah, good question. Maybe like a, uh, like a Kribo, maybe? But Kribos are supposed to eat smaller meals. Jumbo's boas, maybe? I don't know. That's a really good question, actually. Why? <laughs> Are you just like, do you just want to feed a big rat to something? Like, do you hate rats? Take that rat. Now you're going to be like, become poop right away. Poop. Tips for getting baby sand boa to eat frozen instead of live. I did a whole video about this. Go check it out. Uh, blow your nose. The sniffling is worse. All right, maybe I will. What time of year does Bob go outside? So, uh, Bob goes outside uh, middle of May. We have this, this, uh, holiday called victoria day may 2-4 we call it in canada usually that's like the beginning of summer for us so they go out at that time usually it just depends on the weather i keep an eye on the weather natalie's reptiles who just started a youtube channel uh thank you very much five bucks would you get male dumals uh, male dumals python to bring with your a uh, dumals boa i would get yeah i would i would that'd be and that would actually be good because here there's not a lot of supply so, and that's what I always suggest. If you're going to breed something, breed something with a low supply in your area because, it, like, if you can't sell them, what's the point of breeding them? You know what I mean? Uh, I can't. Who, what is the video called? This one? <laughs> I don't know. What video? What is, uh, why did five, I know what you're talking about. You're talking about the documentary. I'm not saying the name of it. Just look it up. I'm not promoting this garbage documentary did how many of you watch that documentary did you did i hit the nail on the head or what i don't ever like listen there's some videos that i do that are just kind of like silly but that one man that documentary annoyed me bad can you make a bull python care guide i have i just posted it like january i made a new one i've actually have two uh how about blood pythons not a fan they're big they're colorful they're beautiful but they're also kind of nippy and yeah, yeah. They're like I think of uh, blood pythons when I think of actually no, they're cooler than savannah monitors. I, I thought you were easy on them. Oh yeah, yeah, I kind of was. Yeah, I kind of was. Yeah. How many tattoos do you have? It's hard to tell because like my whole arm is like how many of those are tattoos. So like a big one on my leg, two more on my leg, and then uh, I'm gonna go for it, guys. I'm gonna go for it. What about viper boas? Viper boas are freaking <coughs> awesome. Do you like video games? Uh, I like, I play Madden. I'm really good at Madden. Uh, I played Nazi Zombies when that was like a thing in 2009 on uh, Call of Duty. But I don't really have time. I make videos about reptiles for you. So, here, one sec. <laughs> oh my god, he blows his nose like an old man. Alright, that should be better. And as I have a dog hair on the back of my shirt. And oil stains on the shirt somehow too. The video on how to get 
from Frozen, the live to Frozen. I did a video about that. Hey, bro, remember me from IG? I do, actually. Yeah, Madden's used to have the best soundtrack. Madden 2005, that was a... Man, honestly, I'll still listen to that soundtrack on Spotify, which wasn't a thing in 2005. Man, I love that soundtrack. It was awesome. Leopard Gecko or Hognose? That's a really weird comparison. I can do a video on it. It's up to you. Leopard Geckos are easier. Hognoses are cooler, in my opinion. Uh, <laughs> did someone's engine just fail to start? Yeah, I know. I blow my nose like an old man. So that's what I'm doing on camera, but I had to because this might go for another little while. We had 104 people. I love this question. What inspired you to start making videos? What do you think of the Bills and Madden? Okay. First part, or the second part, the Buffalo Bills are the closest team to me in Canada, 45 minutes away or 30 minutes away. So naturally, everyone here is a Bills fan. Everyone loves the Buffalo Bills, but I'm a Patriots fan as everyone drops off the stream. I'm a Patriots fan, so I cannot like the Bills, but Doug Flutie is my idol. So I have like this soft spot, right? Which is my, my, my dog's name is Flutie. So, but I don't know. It, usually in Madden, if I make a team, I always get rid of the Bills so I can bring in that team. Like if I make my own team, like Wiccan's Wicked, Rep, Wicked's Wicked Cobras or whatever, like if I make a team, I'll get rid of the Bills so I can fit them in. <laughs> anyway, what inspired me to start doing videos, um... Who do you think is going to win the AFC East without Brady? The Patriots are... Do you know who Bill Belichick is? The Patriots are still going to win. Uh, but the Dolphins have a wicked team this year. The Bills are... Man, it's going to be... The AFC East is like... Whoop, they're, they're turning up. Uh, the reason that I started doing videos... I've always thought about doing YouTube. I did a YouTube channel before uh, that wasn't about reptiles at all. But uh, this producer that I do comedy shows for, right? I'm a comedian. I don't know if you knew that. Uh, I, I do stand-up comedy. And one of the producers that I do shows for, the guy who actually gave me my first headlining show ever, he said to me one time, he's like, man, okay, so you're out of work for a couple weeks, right? I was just like starting a new job and ending uh, one, so I didn't have to work for two weeks. You have all these reptiles, you have this big personality, and you know how to make videos. So why don't you just do that? And this was uh, the 14th of January, 2019, last year. And that day, I started making videos because, I don't know, I just jump in with both feet. So if you're thinking about doing videos, just do it today. Get off the stream right now and go make a channel. Get the channel art. Make everything look pretty. Yeah, so there you go. Uh, it's not starting to turn into a football video. I keep it really short. We lost like 10, 10 viewers from that. Uh, I lost my Leo eggs, but she got two more coming any day. How'd you lose them? Uh, no, I wish. Man, if I could start a podcast about anything, I would talk about NFL football. I love NFL football. Like I can't even express to you how much I love that sport. Um, but obviously if you ever met me in person, you look at me and be like, Oh, this guy, how much did you ride the bench in high school? And the answer is a lot when you're five foot four or however, or five foot eight or whatever I lie about, however uh, tall I lie, I am, you're not good at football. It just doesn't work. Do you, uh, what you do comedy, you should post some shows on YouTube. I have, if you search my name, Adam Wickens, you can find some of my stand up. And actually two weeks ago, I did uh, like a live stand-up thing on uh, Facebook. So go check it out. If you're friends with me on Facebook, you'll see it. Two weeks ago, two Fridays ago. What should I incubate fat tail gecko eggs at? Man, okay. The answer is I don't know. I think I think it's the same as leopard gecko eggs, so it's an 83. But the, first of all, I don't know for sure because I've never done it off the top of my head. And second of all, man, Google that stuff, dude. Uh, CFL. CFL is a wicked game. If the production value is better, it would take off. Some of those, man, I love CFL football also. Go Tiger Cats. I'll check out some stand-up sometime. You should. Stand-up is awesome. Uh, should I turn my heat lamp off at night? Yes, for sure. No light at night. They're crepuscular animals. What is the most amount of money you would be willing to spend on an animal? Totally depends. Uh, XFL just went on a business, <laughs> but that was pretty cool to watch. It depends because do I really want it? Do I have space for it? Am I going to make any money back on it? It really depends. Like right now, I don't know if it was like a tegu and it was available or like a red foot tortoise. I don't know. I might spend like 350 or 400 bucks on it if I found a really good deal, but I don't make a ton of money from this. I don't make a ton of money from doing streams. I don't make a ton of money from merch. I don't make a ton of money from Patreon. So once I get up to a certain level where I can actually have money to invest back in like a reasonable amount, 
then that'd be different. And maybe I will get a black-headed python then. But for now, I don't know. I'm just trying to be frugal and, you know, bank my money so I can use it for animals and buying new enclosures and food and stuff like that. Why you no answer me? This is this kind of boring. Then leave. Uh, it all makes sense now. Of course you're a comedian. Thank you. I appreciate that. That's very nice of you. What are you, uh, your favorite films, movies? That's interesting. My favorite movie of all time, I think, is Wolf of Wall Street. Man, Joker? Pff, I don't really ever go to movies. My girlfriend took me to, to Joker. I watched that movie like three times. I love that movie. I thought it was awesome. It was a masterpiece. What's your opinion on the channel Leopard Gecko? She uses loose substrate for leopard geckos. So do I. I think loose substrate's great for leopard geckos. Uh, I've watched a few of her videos. I think they're actually pretty good. But, yeah. There's a right way to do loose substrate, and she does it. Mr. Cream. What? What kind of... What do you... This is a family-friendly channel. Can you sell your animals in the United States? So here's how it works. Now that we've got 106 of you. If you are American, you want to buy an animal from anyone in Canada, like me. I will send to an exporter of your choice, or importer, sorry. So someone in the States will be an importer, like we have here, Reptiles Express is who we use. So I'll send to your, uh, I'll send to you, to your, what am I trying to say? Importer of choice. And then they will, so they'll pick it up at the border. So I'll send it to like uh, Buffalo, or sorry, Fort Erie or Niagara Falls or somewhere in Canada that isn't a border. They'll pick it up. They do the paperwork and inspection to bring it over the border. And then once they're on American soil, they send it to you. So that's how that works. So just find an importer of your choice and then I send to them. That's how it works. So yes, the answer is yes. Uh, oh, your question that I was ignoring was how big of an enclosure do you need for a hogdo snake? You're the same person who said this is boring, right? Well, get off of here and go watch the 30 Hognos videos I did, which explain that. How do you get a stubborn boa to eat? I've never had that issue before. My boa is like a, a garbage can. So I'm not sure. I I think there's a few ways to get most snakes to eat. And uh, uh, really, uh, yeah, so I would just go watch the video if you don't mind. Like, a, Here's the thing, and here's why I always say this. If someone asks me a question that I covered in a video, I spent 12 hours making that video or eight hours or whatever, depending on how long the video was. So yeah, just, I put a lot of thought into it. There's a video about how to get your snake to eat. Do you have a Euromastix? No, I would love one. I think they're cool. Uh, what is your opinion on corn snakes as beginner pets? They can be good uh, beginner pets. They can be good beginner pets. Uh, I've had bad luck. I mean, most of you guys know that, but they could be good. I, I like, uh, I just think they're also, to me, kind of boring. They're just, they're slim and wiggly. Eh. They don't really, but that's the thing is like certain people like different things. I don't like the color bright yellow. You know, maybe you do. I don't like corn snakes. And it's not that I don't like them. I just, they're not my cup of tea. Uh, what is the most difficult reptile to work with in videos? <laughs> that boa constrictor. Did you guys watch the last one? Holy cow. She is a handful. That boa is a handful. But uh, I don't know. She's, I like boas. I like bigger snakes and she's a little bit sketchy, but she hasn't been hissing at me or striking at me. I've just been very careful because she's big now. Right? So yeah, that's probably my guess. Euromastix versus blue tongue skink. Man, so they're kind of close, but kind of polar opposites. Blue tongue skinks are easier in my opinion. Do you still go to school? No, I'm 28. I'm old. I'll be 29 in like less than a month. Uh, you said it takes four, right? It takes four what? I don't know what that means. Green tree, python, emerald tree, boa. Ah, uh, depends what you want. That's like a, yeah, it's like a preference thing. What do you think about copperheads? Copperheads are cool. Man, I think they, they've got the most beautiful pattern. But the thing is, we don't have, well, we've got Massasauga rattlesnakes in part of the province, but that's pretty much all we have here for venomous stuff, which is kind of cool because you never have to worry about flipping a log. If something bites you, it's not going to kill you. And Massasauga rattlesnakes don't occur where I am. They occur closer to like, uh, uh, like Ottawa area, like up that area. And I think people have seen them in, uh, what's that big provincial park? I'm such an idiot. Anyway, what are some of your favorite Pokemon? Oh man, someone stumped me on this last time. Blastoise, maybe? I don't know. Someone called me basic for that, but. Get a Viper or Cobras. I don't think so. What are some of your favorite. Oh, I already answered that. Welcome to this final countdown. What? 
Hog knows and bull. Some of you just like type random stuff, I think. Uh, thanks for the chat. I appreciate, hey, thank you for being part of it. Algonquin Park. That's exactly what I was trying to think of. Yes. Uh, I don't think it's in Ottawa though, right? It's kind of like, I don't know, but you're right. That's what I was thinking. If, if I could get a general answer, it would be wonderful. A general answer to what? <laughs> if Raichu is a sick Pokemon, yeah. Torterra? Is that after the original 150, therefore not a Pokemon in my world? What's the worst injury one of your pets has had? Metabolic bone disease, I got it that way, though. I got uh, Bob a little sort of like that. How long a male BCI gets? Uh, I Well, it depends. Like, six feet is pretty pretty average. Lego man live in house made of their own flesh. That is true. I never thought of it like that until like a couple of months ago when I saw the meme that you took that off of. But, yeah. You're a gun more... I don't know what that means. How uh, do you think of carpet pythons as a fourth pet? Man, people love carpet pythons. Go for it. Do your research. I've gotten bit my, by my six-foot bow. It wasn't that bad. Well, you're tougher than I am. Only shows like three different answers. If you're going to say, hey, you didn't answer me, throw your question in there too. This is going pretty fast. Like, I can't see all of them. Kenyan sand bows are cool, but they're just kind of like, you don't see them very much. Do you go herping ever? Not as much now because I'm busy doing this, but when I was younger, for sure, I used to go all the time. And I think in the, once I already have a plan to go to someone's uh, like property, they've got like a big acreage with a couple ponds. I'm gonna try that in the summer and try to make a video out of it. The Doom Rolls is awesome. Uh, the video on Monday is about is is has to do with Doom Rolls bonus. So check it on Monday. Uh, thinking of doing a PVC reptile room. Yeah, uh, PVC is awesome. They're hard to find. They're not cheap. So, yeah, it, yeah, I think it's a, if, if I have any tips, I don't know, don't go broke <laughs> trying to do it, I guess. Any tips on herping? Man, I'm not the guy. I'm not very good at it, to be honest. You'll see that in the summer. Uh, man, I wish I had a moderator here to help me out with this. Happy future birthday. Thank you very much. Uh, seventh stream of asking for a video on a Brazilian rainbow bot. So here's the thing, Riker Path. Brazilian rainbow bows are awesome. If you watched yesterday's video, I did feature them. But, sorry what, Professor Herp, I need you to... Okay, anyway. Brazilian rainbow bow, I don't have one, right? And I like to, especially now, I like to show or handle what I'm talking about. And I don't have one. And I can't go anywhere. Like, I can't go to someone's house that has one. So... Sorry, it's going to be a while. But yeah, Brazilian rainbow bows are awesome and I'd love to do an, uh, a video about them. I just can't right now. I don't know if you've heard. There's a pandemic going on. So, as a kid, I didn't have a lot of ways to get money. How do you suggest I save up? Yeah, man. Okay, so let's pretend that there's not a thing going on right now. When I was a kid, paper out. I had a paper out. Uh, I mowed lawns. My parents ran a convenience store. I worked there. Uh, yeah, do stuff. Like if it snows in your area, shovel snow, rake leaves. There's a million things you can do. And there's actually like pages about their websites about how to create side hustles. But man, if I wish that I had this entrepreneurial thing, like mindset when I was a kid, because my life would be totally different. Make money now because money isn't everything. No, money isn't everything, but money buys you freedom and freedom is everything. So make as much money as you, man, make that paper boo boo, you know? How do you like quarantine? You know what? I It's weird. I miss doing stand-up a lot. I miss seeing my friends. I miss going out. But I'm getting a lot of work done. I started a Patreon. I got a website up. Uh, I'm doing a, like extra videos on Patreon. I've done vlogs on Patreon. Yeah. Uh, Afro Herper is a good channel for herping. Yeah, he's got a huge audience, eh? Um... Which group of people are you more annoying? Comedian show hecklers or YouTube trolls? YouTube trolls for sure. Because uh, hecklers at comedian, uh, at shows, I don't like them. Like, here's the thing. If you want to if you want to be a heckler, it is what it is. But if a comedian's good, you're going to feel bad about yourself when you leave. And you should. Hecklers are pieces of garbage. And especially if it's like a, a competition. Like someone was heckling. There's another bald dude with a beard named Adam that competes in the same uh, competition that I was competing in before this whole thing happened. 
and he was getting heckled during his showcase. And it was, like, frustrating. But he shut this guy down, and this guy left on his own accord. So if you're a heckler, I will make you... You'll, don't walk over a bridge on the way home. Might jump. My PTSD keeps me in, so this quarantine is another way. Uh, day me. A day. Day to me. Well, I hope you're doing all right, man. Stay strong. Uh, we're lower than I would like to be. If you stagger, if you stagger what you say, I don't know what you said first. <laughs> the comments are going too fast. Favorite amphibians? Toads. I love toads because you can actually sort of handle them. And they, I don't know, they've got like more personality in my opinion. So I like toads. Toads are really cool. What is your favorite type of toad? Throw it in the comment section. I'd love to know. How are Hogdo's eggs doing? They're doing great. Still on track. None of them have gone bad yet. So yeah, May 15th-ish. We should see uh, when they happen, which is cool. If they hatch on May 15th, that's my birthday. That'd be awesome. Yeah, toads are awesome. Uh, where do you do stand-up? Anywhere that has a stage and a microphone that'll have me, basically. I've done comedy in front of the back of two people's heads and Hamilton, <laughs> and I've also done stand-up comedy in front of 200 people in a club. So it just depends. Wherever will have me. Uh, Spadefoot toads. Yeah, Syrian spadefoot toads. I didn't know that was a thing, but yeah, spadefoot toads are awesome. Possible or no? Okay, dude, if you stagger your comments, I don't know you. the first comment you're referring to is, Milk frogs are awesome also. Uh, have you already shown us your cute hatchlings? Yes. So on Instagram, I posted. So if you haven't already, uh, Instagram at Wiccans Wicked Reptiles, go follow me. I'd appreciate it. Uh, but I, yeah, I, I posted a picture today. I post everything now just like a couple of days early on Patreon. If you're going to spend money to support me, I'll just show you extra stuff. And there's certain like secret projects that I haven't told anybody about yet. And those are on Patreon too. Uh, bumblebee toads. I don't know what those are, but that sounds cool. How do I become a mod? I don't know. Have a good track record. I'll make you one. Dart frogs are awesome. I love dart frogs. I just don't have room for them right now, but yeah. Midnight in Denmark. Denmark seems like a really interesting country to me. I'd love to go. Uh, do you have any pets other than your reptiles? Yeah, I've got two dogs uh, and a bird. Het, white snow, double allelic. Do you own any amphibians? Yes, I've got axolotl videos that nobody watches, which is why I don't do videos about axolotls. Like literally, like right there, I've got a rack of them. I've got tree frogs. And I might have a new amphibian that no one knows about yet. Not even Patreon, but I'll post it after this. So after this, if you're a supporter of Patreon, you'll know. So annoying. My neighbor gets picked up every day and these, these people just honk their horns incessantly. What kind of bird do you have? An Indian ringneck parakeet. Might be time to blow my nose soon. Uh, do you have, do you, would you like more birds? I'm not really a bird person. I'm not afraid of birds, but I don't know. I'm not really a bird person. Not my thing. How do you keep humidity up in a snake tank? I've tried different methods. Well, first of all, screen lids don't work. Cover it with tin foil. Uh, or just bite the bullet and go get a PVC. Uh, make sure that your substrate is conducive to uh, humidity also. Baby geckos, yes. Two baby geckos hatched on Tuesday. Uh, I've been watching since 7,000 subs. So January. Hey, man, thanks. I see you, man. You're always on every uh, every stream, Riker Path. I really appreciate that. You're very supportive. I don't think he's in here, but Jersey Herper. Man, that guy's like something else. And P P Professor Herp, of course, too. Show us your bird. <laughs> no. Cover it with tinfoil. Yes. Uh, Red-eyed tree frogs are awesome. What costs more, a dog or a BCI? A dog. BCIs are dirt cheap. Petco gave me a free $400 radar. That's cool. Uh, I said you, Professor Herb. I said... No, okay. Yes, I do. I've got a video about tree frogs. I, I did it a while ago. What I would love to do is make a bigger enclosure for my tree frogs and maybe put like some grass tail lizards in there. So, we'll see. You should play a reptile breeder game. I don't know what that is. What channels do you think give the best, most accurate reptile info? Wiccans Wicked Reptiles is a fantastic reptile channel that gives the most accurate information. Uh, Clint's Reptiles is good, and Emily at uh, Snake Discovery is really good. I like Dave Kaufman's channel, although the Rattlers thing, calling your fan base Rattlers, is like super cringy. But besides that, he I think he's got one of the best. Uh, he actually goes places like a fly to Thailand and show you one. To me, that's so cool. 
playing on reptiles. Can you do a video on cohabbing different species? I already have. Go check it out. What are we? Wikis? No, I would never call this fan base wikis or Wiccans or anything like that. You guys are just viewers who support the channel. I appreciate it. And for those of you, the two of you who sent me some super chat money, you guys are freaking awesome. I really appreciate that. Uh, LOL. Please call us wikis. Not a chance. P Man, okay, so... I'm a, like Slipknot's my favorite band of all time and they call their fans maggots which I think is cool but that was like in the 90s they started doing it in like the 90s but like people call their fan base I don't know I think like Serpa Squad is kind of okay and like Tanner it kind of has like this awkwardness about him where it kind of works but yeah Wicked Wickets what kind of dogs do you have? I showed them last stream I've got a miniature Australian Shepherd and I've got a Pomeranian Chihuahua mix sell your how much do you sell your hog nose snakes for is this for uh check the website please call us wikis no i'm not calling you wikis uh all the reptiles you own which is the most difficult to get probably a dual rules boa they're really difficult to find nowadays uh yeah leopard the girl from leopard gecko is really good too yeah she's really good Wait, mini Australian Shepherd, that's a thing? It is. She's she's kind of like Tubby, but yeah, Eris is her name. I love her. She's awesome. She looks like a little bear. Wicklers. <laughs> no. Uh, I'll call you chickens. You can be Wiccans chickens. Like my, yeah. How much do you make off bringing reptiles? I make negative money. I spend more money on it. Okay. You guys should write... Ready? One, two, three. Write a bunch of questions. It's going to blow my nose again. It's going to sound like a train engine starting, but... <laughs> choo choo I lose like five people every time this is my first time sending a super chat dragon scale 22 thank you very much I really appreciate that anyone who sends me even a dollar uh, as a super chat all that money goes directly towards the animals I've got a big shipment of uh, frozen rodents coming this week so yeah that'd be That'd be cool if, like, I could fund that from Super Chats. But thank you very much. I really appreciate that, Dragon Scales 22. You're awesome. Wiccans, Wicked Wickers. You got a P.O. Box. Okay, put P.O. Box is next. I'm going to get uh, a, a P.O. Box very shortly. Or you could call us Nuggies. Yeah, there's another reptile channel who thinks that's his thing. What do you think? Am I the Nuggie King? I don't know. We'll, we'll see. I love Camp Kennedy. He's awesome. Oh, messy hair girl from Halifax. Thank you very... Uh, maybe I shouldn't say that where you're from. Sorry. But thank you very... Canadian. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. You spent me, sent me so much money to eat pickles last week. Holy cow. But anyway, messy hair girl, you support everything I do. You're uh, you're all the time in the Discord. And there's a link in the description if you want to chat with me. Uh, I, I'm on Discord all the time. But yeah. Pickle King. Thank you very much. I appreciate that, messy hair girl. You're awesome. Uh, Dizzy Reptiles, who's also a patron, I think, right? Uh, money for more tissue boxes. My girlfriend bought a big bo a big thing at uh, Kleenex today because we were running out. I've got allergies really bad, if you couldn't tell. She spent, I think it was like 25 bucks. It was ridiculous. And had to line up, man. I got a queen of a girlfriend. She's awesome. And she bought me toilet paper so I can wipe my butt still, which is cool because you can't buy stuff on Amazon. Bidets are expensive. Thank you very much, Dizzy Reptiles. I really appreciate that. You're awesome. Thank you so much. Artichoke Hold, also on the Discord server. What's up? Thank you very much. I'm late. How were the pickle poops? <laughs> they were awful. They were terrible. But I felt like bloated so much last week after eating. If you weren't here, I ate like 12 pickles or something last week for this stream. So stupid. I don't know. I felt awful. A fiver for some snake rub. Thanks for the five quid. Am I cool? DC McLeod. Hey, thank you guys so much, man. You guys are sending me this money. Honestly, every dollar of it is just going to go to buying food for the reptiles. So you guys are awesome. I appreciate that. I, if you told me even like two years ago, hey, just so you know, on Friday nights, what you're going to do now is you're going to sit in front of a camera. You're going to eat pickles. So you have the poops the next day and we're going to, people are going to send you money so you can feed your snakes. That is so cool to me. Thank you guys so much. You guys are awesome. Don't, don't donate pickles. I don't want them. <laughs> I ate a handful of dill pickle chips before I came down here though. Pounds are worth more than dollars. Way more. Yes, they are. They're worth way more than dollars. Excuse me. 
uh, or quids. I like that. It's funny. Quid. It's a good quid. Uh, do you get any sponsorships? No. But I'm going to sign up for an affiliate program, I think. So if I put links down, because a lot of people ask, where do you get your hydrometers? I'll sign up for that. Uh, Tyler Lashbrook, my man for Bob. <laughs> okay, so after this, I will go into Bob's enclosure and I'll feed him uh, some worms right? just for you. Thank you very much, Tyler Lashbrook. I really appreciate it. That's awesome. It's really cool. Man, you guys are so generous. Thank you guys so much. So many reptile foods for the reptiles. Ah, sweet Bob. Bob's awesome. I love him. I can't wait to put him outside like a month. Yeah, it's going to be awesome. Whoa, my money is for the It's Snoot Rocket Blankets. What? I have... Sorry, I'm stupid. I don't know what you mean. Can you say hi, Lexi and Littlefoot? That's my leopard gecko. Hello, Lexi and Littlefoot. How do you do? Littlefoot's my gecko also. I don't know why I said that so creepy. I'm not going to abduct your geckos. What's your Discord? My Discord, uh, the link is in the description of this video. I'm pretty sure. Gotta be awkward if it wasn't. It is. Link in the description. Uh, snot blanket. Oh, snot rocket blankets. Oh, <laughs> yes. That's right. Uh, I think Bob got me. Yes, I will buy Kleenex or I will fund that money to my girlfriend who does the groceries. So, can you bring Littlefoot out? He's in the next room. Uh... I, yeah, I don't think I have enough videos. Someone just joined the Discord. Thank you. Oh, see, Professor Herp coming through as a mod. I appreciate it. Or admin or whatever they call here. Soup. <laughs> Sorry. Front judge and soup. No. What's your favorite leopard gecko more? Max knows. Uh, yeah, join the Discord. Yeah, another one. Thank you. Can we see Bob? I can't handle Bob. He thinks everything's food. If I brought him out, he'd be like dangling from my finger. But uh, I'll show him in the next video, in the uh, end credits of the next video. It's soup. Yeah. I, I love Discord. Leslie Hart, thank you for joining. Do you eat pickles as pizza topping? I have once. I don't like it. I'm, I'm okay. So chick, I, someone asked me this earlier. Do you like chicken parm? I don't like chicken parm. This is weird. Because I don't know. I like tomato sauce i like parmesan cheese i like breaded chicken but i don't like them together i don't like i like pepperoni but i don't like it on, or sorry i like pineapple but i don't like it on pizza i don't like pickles on pizza but recently i've learned to like pickles on subs i put pickles on subs so i do that my mustache i just trimmed it and there's like hairs in my mouth if you're wondering what i'm doing it's annoying i love tacos my girlfriend bought me all the stuff to make tacos today even though she doesn't like tacos how about that so tomorrow, I'm going to make some fancy tacos. I even did some extra work today so that tomorrow, after I'm done getting the two new reptiles, which none of you have guessed right so far, guess what two reptiles I'm getting tomorrow, I can make crazy tacos tomorrow. Cannot wait. It's going to be awesome. Just downloading Discord on my phone. Yeah, join. Right your path. Get a wig? <laughs> Man, you should tell Professor Herp to get a wig. Have you seen the mop on that guy? Uh, you could. S How could someone not like tacos? She just doesn't like uh, the stuff you put in tacos. She likes taco meat, like beef, and like taco shells, but she doesn't like onions and stuff. Spotted pythons are freaking awesome. We'll be talking more about that. Professor Herb, I'm just joking. Don't cry. Um, of your reptiles, which has the weirdest personality? Ooh, that's a good question. The weirdest personality. I don't know. What do you guys think? I show all the reptiles. Bob's pretty weird. He like he'll like huff and puff at me, and then I can just pick him up, no problem. So, I don't know. Maybe I'll buy Bob some snails with the super chat money you guys are sending. I appreciate that. Uh, yeah, the next person to send a super chat, I'll buy snails for Bob or for uh, Irwin, 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 or Bob, whatever. You can donate too. Hey, the super chat is for I don't know. I sound like I'm pandering now. I sound like one of those evangelistic. And God is inside of me. It is Mexican black king snake. Mexican black king snakes are awesome. Who is Bob? Bob is my Jewel Lacerda. He's got metabolic bone disease. His hands kind of look like this. Like a T-Rex. Yeah, Bob. He's awesome. Bob Merch. It's funny you should mention that. Stay tuned. Uh, if anyone wants to buy merch, I barely ever plug this, but I should. Uh, there is a link in the description. Buy some merch. You can buy, like, one of these, uh, which came in a size too small. I feel like a sausage. Uh pfft. Benjamin Bramble, I'll buy I'll buy snails from you. I'll even tell Bob or Irwin, up to you, 
who they're from. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Yeah, Bob and Erwin merch are both coming. So go check it out. And if you're a part of Patreon, you get a huge... If you sign up on Patreon at the uh, uh, All Access or VIP memberships right now, you get a 30%, 30% discount on all merch until the 25th. Uh, and then even if you miss that, you get a discount anyway, a 5 or 10%, uh, depending on which uh, level you sign up for. So if you go to Patreon, you get a discount. But Or you can just buy merch. It's cool. I appreciate it. It's really cool. And honestly, I make z almost zero money. I make such a small margin. I just think it's cool that people would want to wear this stuff on there. That's so cool to me. Are you getting a false chameleon tomorrow? No, but false chameleons are freaking awesome. Do you breed whatever you feed your... Do you, no, I don't breed any insects or stuff. It's just not worth it. I, it, You don't save enough money for it to be worth it. Would you either have a croc monitor or a three savant uh, croc monitor because they're cooler? Would you rather... Uh, I just read that. Would you ever get... Oh, a bull... Uh, I think bull snakes are cool. Yeah, I think maybe. Maybe. I think Sonoran and gopher snakes are awesome too. Uh, I never show any reptiles on live streams because the reptile room is over there and if i leave and then come back it'll take too long and then you guys will leave so agony snakes are cool what is none of it where'd you see that none of it is the only uh province or territory in canada that doesn't have any cases of this garbage that we're going through right now it is way up north it was it joined confederation in 2002 how much do you have uh how much do we have to donate for you to eat a snail Fifty dollars, five zero. One donation. Would you ever get a false water cobra? Yeah, I think they're cool. Yeah, cobra, uh, false water cobras are awesome. Corn bar. Would you get a chameleon? Ah, so here's the thing. I said in the last video that I would never ever get a chameleon, but the more I look at Jackson's chameleons. I don't know, man. I think they're cool. And of all the chameleons, uh, they're the easiest for sure. Is the new reptile a chihua? No. Do you have any tips for taming <coughs> a leopard gecko? Handle it. I just talked to you about Jackson's chameleons. Handle it very confidently. Uh, that's my suggestion. And be confident with it. Jackson's chameleons are cool. Of all the, the true chameleons, that is the coolest one. What's your thoughts on Pac-Man frogs? They're... I just kicked over a bottle. Pac-Man frogs are cool. I, I have got really no interest in having one, but I think they're awesome. How many leopard geckos do you have? 11, I think. The real question is, who wouldn't get a false water cobra? Good point. Thanks for joining Discord Riker Path. Is... The new reptile, a new species for you. Yes. In fact, it's a species that I've said before that I would probably never get. But a friend of mine needs me to uh, take them in for him. So I'm getting two. They're similar, but they're diff two, diff two different species. Yeah. Uh, does Bob eat snails? He does. Bob eats snails. He eats uh, crickets and stuff. I try to feed him vegetables, but he's not really into it. I would buy your Irwin merch. It's coming. I've already done the art. I just kind of put it on. Uh, yeah. Yeah, Andrew, would you get a garter snake? Yeah, garter snakes are awesome. Uh, would you have any pets besides reptiles? Yeah, I do. I've got two dogs and a bird. Do you eat snails? No. Not unless you send me 50 bucks. Please, somebody donate 50 bucks. So here's the thing, too. Even if I do eat a snail, I'll probably get salmonella. Uh, is that worth it for 50 bucks? Guess we'll find out. Who's Bob? Is a Jewel Lacerda. He's in a bunch of the videos. People really like him because he's kind of like, he's got T-Rex arms. Like this. How did you get your reptile license? Where do you live that you need a reptile license? You don't need one here. I don't have one. You don't need one. Yeah, Jewel Lacerda is a reptile species. Cook it. Snail Manila. <laughs> I don't have time to cook a snail on live stream. You guys have short attention spans. Uh, we can pay for your medical bill. I live in Canada, dude. No payment necessary. Except for my time. I have to spend 12 hours of that to see a doctor. Probably more now. And then I have to quarantine for, or self-isolate for 14 days. Bob equals greatest of all time. He's pretty cool. Uh, so you don't need one in Canada? You're 
in Quan. I don't know what Quan is, but you don't need one in Canada. No. Dane geckos are really cool. Ugh, I don't know if I have got room for them. Man, Littlefoot merch is necessary. Here's the thing. I'm really bad at graphic design, and I don't really know anyone who does it. And people on Fiverr are... I don't know. It's tough. Can you show me a leopard gecko? You can put as many of those stop sign things. I'm not walking in the next room. Maybe next time I'll bring out... I did one with a boa before. Maybe next live stream I'll have a gecko. Yeah, legal snakes are... Garter snakes are legal in most parts of Ontario. Or Canada. Are you new pets... Are you, no, my new pets are not amphibians. The ones that I'm getting tomorrow are not. iPhone versus Android. iPhone. Oh, Kitchener, Ontario. Oh, okay. Oh, KW, Kitchener, Waterloo. Right. Uh, you have to check with your municipality. I don't think you need one there, though. Do you have any tips for bringing ball pythons? We're doing a video about that soon. We're an hour in and people are still watching this. Thank you, guys. I appreciate it. And a special thank you to everyone who sent me money so I could feed snails to things. That's awesome. Uh, sulcatas are awesome, but you need so much room. So much room for sulcatas. So maybe one day. I would love to live in a place where it's warm all the time, which means I'd have to live in the States, which is really hard to do, and then have, like, an outside facility. That'd be awesome. Southern California would be cool. Do you have uh, a chameleon? I don't have one, no. Uh, how often do you try to work with your BCI? Every few days, like every three days, probably. Like your video guys or British Columbia. Like the video guys or British Columbia. BC is cool. I got to go to BC in August. Maybe. If the travel restrictions have all gone away. I'm going to blow my nose again. But yeah, my buddy is getting married in BC. And not only am I the priest for this wedding, like I'm getting certified so I can marry these people. I'm also the MC for their wedding. So that's pretty cool. I think I can. I think I can. The little engine that could like the live streams thank you very much i'm so, thank you guys for watching this that's really cool you i appreciate that blood pythons are not my cup of tea are you interested in aquatic turtles kind of yeah i wouldn't say no i think they're cool so katas are cool yeah they don't live me too most things with shells do why are the crew necks on your etsy uh, oh, I just haven't put them there yet, but uh, they are on the Teespring. Now, I put them there yesterday because Artichoke Hold asked if I would put them on there. So I don't know if she actually bought one or not, but I put them on there. So the crew necks are on uh, the Teespring store. But I will put them on Etsy too because I know you're a Canadian. Jamie, <laughs> thanks for showing up. Yes, I have gone herping. I don't know if you guys can still see me or not. Uh, yes, I have gone herping. But uh, I just don't haven't done it recently. Oh, no, we're good. It was just my feed that, and all the questions are gone. Uh, what is your favorite lizard? My favorite lizard is Irwin. I love Irwin. Irwin's awesome. Which of your reptiles has the most difficult specific requirements? Uh, it's a good question. Probably Irwin. He needs really high humidity, but it's not really that difficult because. I don't really go anywhere, so I can just spray them down all the time. Pretty easy. I'm going to make a herping vlog. I've got a couple vlogs up on Patreon right now, so if you want to see some like vlog type stuff, uh, go to Patreon. They're up there. Black and white tagu versus red tagu. Black and white, for sure. Go blue tongues. That's right. Blue tongues are free. Man, I love blue tongues. Blue tongues are awesome. Crikey. Yeah. The first time I went herping to find a cricket frog. Cricket frogs are cool. They're small, right? What type of lizard is Irwin? Uh, Irwin is a blue tongue skink. Did you watch yesterday's video? He was in yesterday's video. He was at the beginning of yesterday's video. Yesterday's video was... I can't believe how well it was received. Thank you guys so much for watching that. I really do appreciate it. Uh, yeah, if you Google my full name, do you have any videos on your stand-up? If you Google my full name or uh, you on YouTube... I have a separate channel. I've done a few videos. They're not like the greatest. Uh, they're from before, like a while back. And then last week we did like a quarantine show and I was on that and that's on my Facebook. You can find it there from two Fridays ago. My leopard gecko is a baby and he's not eating. What do I do? How old is it? Uh, would you 
have a reptile zoo facility. So here's the thing. I would love to have one. It'd be awesome. But it would have to be something where I have a ton of people to donate because they are not lucrative. That is not a wise business decision. Would you ever take in animals from viewers like Go Herp and use it? I've been thinking about this. The different see with Go Herping, he lives in the States, so it's easier for him. I live in Canada. It's a much smaller market. Only 6% of my audience is in Canada. I've thought about it, and actually I'm doing that tomorrow. Like the two reptiles that none of you have guessed right so far are coming from someone who just said, Hey, will you take these? I know you. Will you take them? And I said yes. Because I made a room for them. So that gecko goes three months. Uh try a bunch of different insects. Put it in a dark room. Not a dark room, but like in a away from people where people aren't walking by, make it feel really secure and try different insects. No, they're not Ackies. My dream ball python morph. Some sort of pied paradox. Exanthic paradox? Pied? Those are cool. Are the reptiles gonna live together? Yes, they are. They have lived together, they're coming together, and they are gonna live together. What's your favorite Western hognose snake morph? I'm boring. Probably albino supercondos are my favorite. I think they're cool. Patternless in orange? Sign me up, dude. When are you showing Bob? I show him in a lot of videos. Maybe I'll show him in the next one. What is your full name? I'm Adam. You're watching Wiccans Wicked Reptiles. <laughs> There's your clue. Same species, new reptiles. They're the same type of reptile, but they're not the same species. Crocodile skinks are awesome. So cool. Are you getting bearded dragons? No. I would love to, but no. Bye, Professor Hurt. Are the new reptiles the Euromastics? No. But those are cool, too. Gotta get here. Okay, gotta go. Yeah, I think once we get below, uh, whew, I used to do 50, but we're 123 people. We're going to wrap it up soon because I got to like blow my nose a lot. Do you prefer rhino iguana or a Cuban rock iguana? Honestly, if I could have either, I'd be so happy. But here in Canada, we can't have either one of them. They're illegal here. Sucks. You remember my first video? <laughs> it was so bad. Man, my first video was awful. But thank you very much for being a supporter. I'm not getting tagus. I'm not getting garter snakes. Beardies do smell a lot. Man, they do. Are They're not a lizard species. My dream, uh, Xanthic Pied. Yeah, Xanthic Pied's are freaking awesome. Bye. Two garters. Nope. Are they elongated gecko? Elegant geckos? Never. I don't even know what that is. Your doctor, your do <laughs> Dr. Fexneck? Dr. Fexneck will come back for another video, for sure. Velvet? Nope. Asian water monitors are awesome. Uh, bye, little Lexi. Are they some type of gecko? No. They're not a lizard. If that helps. I know what type of reptiles you're getting awesome ones. Do you, though? Frogs are not reptiles. Do you have thoughts on Lichianus geckos? Yes, Lichianus geckos are freaking awesome. I love lychees. Uh, but they're really expensive here. So, and I just don't like them enough to spend 800 bucks on one. So I will not be getting one. They are not box turtles. Uh, cohabbing snakes. Nope. Is a, well, is see if it was, uh, garter snakes. You can actually cohab garter snakes. And I don't know anyone who knows anything about snakes who would say the other, the opposite of that. Pink tongue skink. Nope. Yeah. Everyone's kind of leaving now, eh? Uh, would you, would I get turtle, even if it was, you'd have to, like, guess a species. Fox snakes are freaking cool, man. You can see them in the wild here. They're not that. They're not egg-eating snakes. Uh, yeah, I like all sports. I'm, like, the fact that there's no sports on right now is killing me. I don't really have a lot of time to watch sports, but I love all sports. Uh, Tricolor hognose, nope. Uh... Uh, snakes all right i think that we're gonna wrap this up rather soon okay our sunday morning i'll keep going what should i feed my new baby king snake uh if it's a baby feed it pinky mice feed it pinky mice just like little small ones that's what i suggest thank you very much for the donation austin dunmar i appreciate that 
pig, uh, king snakes are really easy to feed, so if they're not eating, watch the video I did about how to get your snake to eat again. Uh, there might be a, an issue with it if it's not eating. Uh, they're not box turtles. When are they going to be introduced to us? Probably in a couple weeks. Or maybe next week? Man, monkey tails. That'd be cool. They're not. Or are they to a tour? No, they're not. Madagascar or giant hog does? No, but those are cool. I saw one available not too long ago. They're not bull snakes. Do you guys have any questions? Because if not, I'm going to wrap this up. Give me my first leopard gecko. Are they bull snakes? No. Yeah, I did a video about feeding picky snakes too. Why are you sending people to the million plus subscriber people and not to me? That's rude. Nah, I'm just kidding. Snake discovery is awesome. And her video about it was really helpful. Uh, are they... We just going to guess the babies. I mean, I thought... Uh, your first snake. My first snake ever was a hognose snake. Just a normal hognose snake. She was pretty cool. Are we seriously at 123 people still watching? It hasn't changed in a while. Tips on taming zippy baby ball pythons. Uh, they're just going to be zippy when they're babies, just kind of how it is. There's nothing you really can do about that. Best beginner frog. Uh, maybe a tree frog. Or a pix... Or a... Uh, uh, I'm going to go with tree frogs. I can't think of the name of the other one that I'm thinking of. My favorite lizard, blue tongue skinks, probably. Uh, king snakes are like dust bins. Yeah, they are. Like, caiman lizards are awesome. I got nothing but good things to say about caiman lizards. They're freaking awesome. Peace out, bye. How are you still climbing? How are people still watching this? I appreciate it. Will you get a woma python? Eventually, but not tomorrow. Tomorrow isn't a woma python. But I would, I would absolutely love to get out of the Python eventually. What type of reptile are they? Dude, you gotta guess. Or join Patreon, you'll know tomorrow. Advice for people who want to get into breeding. That is a big discussion. Oh. Uh, Mr. DeForest, thank you very much for the $2. I appreciate that. That'll go right into some food for the uh, whatever you want. Skink. I don't like tarantulas. I'm afraid of spiders, dude. Sorry. <laughs> I don't like, I don't know. I think red knees look cool. Bird eaters look cool. I don't want them anywhere near me, though. Sorry. I'm not a spider guy at all. I don't like the spoods. Uh, other than geckos, what lizards do you think would be the best for beginners? Uh, maybe, I don't know. It depends. Like, maybe a blue tongue skink? Millipede, scorpion, I don't like anything like that. It, sorry. If it's got more than four legs, I'm not interested. Thoughts on isopods? Yeah, isopods are great. I don't understand why people have them as pets, but isopods are cool. I think they're cool because, they like, as a cleanup crew, I use them for that, so they, they, they work great. Someone told me they saw someone use earthworms. That, never, that's crazy. And that, that makes sense, but I've never seen that myself. Dream reptiles. We went through this at the beginning of the show. Uh, uh, so my list was uh, black and white tagus, Burmese pythons, some sort of tortoise, and rock iguanas, or rhino iguanas. Food agro, uh, agro, oh, okay, so food agro milkshake bites self tame. So I've got one like that right now, a milk snake. So I would say uh, if they're food aggressive, get them out with a hook and a glove, and then they should calm down after that. That's my guess. And I also have a video about handling defensive reptiles. Okay, I think we're going to choo-choo train my blow my nose one more time. Will you ever do a bioactive enclosure? Yeah, I've done a few already, and I'm in the middle of one right now. Redfoot tortoises are awesome. I wish I could find one that didn't cost, like, my firstborn child. <laughs> Hold on. I have no more train puns. Man, spring is awesome. How many subs would you need to invest in something like a caiman lizard? I don't know, a lot. 100,000 probably. I need like to be able to make enough money where I can afford a big enough house as well. Yeah, Australia has like crazy laws. Eh? But it makes sense. I understand why. Favorite retake morph? Cows for sure. 
Uh, can you do your next year a bit earlier? Well, here's the thing. I think it's cool that you watch from Belgium. Thank you very much. But people, <laughs> folly. Uh, but uh, I work. Uh, yeah, so after five kind of works for me. <clears throat> I love how I get, so sometimes I'll look at my phone and I'll get like text messages that say things like you have the COVID or whatever. And I read them out loud because I think they're comments because I can't. Would you get a berm ball? Yes. If there was, if there was a uh, hybrid that I got, it probably would be a berm ball, I think. Because I think that Burmese pythons are awesome. The size is a little bit much for one person. Ball pythons are one of my favorites. They are freaking awesome. So if you could mix them together and get the size, like a little bit smaller than a berm, bigger than a ball, and it had the temperament of, man, seemed like a good species to me. Bye, Ireland. Man, Ireland would be a cool place to go. I'd love to visit there. How can I get myself uh, an Arabian Samboa? It's impossible to answer questions like that. Where do you live? I don't know. Uh, hard to get. Thoughts on cats? I'm allergic to cats. I think they're cool, but I can't have them. UK or USA? I don't live in either. What's your dream vacation? I'd probably go back to Fiji again. That was pretty cool. I would love to go to like Easter Island. But that wouldn't be like a vacation. That'd be like a research thing. I don't know. I've got a big Easter Island Moai tattooed on my leg. Ireland ain't good nothing to do. I like drinking. <laughs> you can't... Yeah, I can't go anywhere. Yeah, it's true. Canada, eh? It's true. I got a moose and a caribou in the back, eh? Are there such things as... Are there such things? Sound like Toronto Man's. As corn half, no, corn snakes and ball pythons cannot reproduce. They're not even part of the, like, one's a colubrid, one's a python. Thanks, Riker Path. Thanks, TP Domino. You need uh, to see Littlefoot on your shoulder. Or the chat riots. No. <laughs> uh, maybe next stream. We're going to wind this one down. Thoughts on exo exotic mammals as pets? I don't know. Don't go buy a tiger with your stimulus check. Good Lord. Please don't do that. What is your favorite? What was your first reptile? A bearded dragon. Have you ever had any small mammals? Yeah, I had rats and mice. I had a hamster when I was a kid. My first pet ever was a hedgehog. Uh, yeah, I should. Pikachu's awesome. I had a uh, Doomy or Cubum out here one time. Yeah, I have watched Tiger King. I watched Tiger King because uh, another channel told me I had to. Did, do not regret it. But So after this stream, I think I'm going to go watch something else. Because, uh, yeah, today's been a productive day. It's been good. So uh, stay safe. Bye. You as well. Have a great day. Uh, I'll plug it again. New website. Nothing's really up there in terms of... I added a couple new... So, like, on the website, if you want to see, like, everything I have, a little description... I'm adding reptiles a little bit. So I think I've got four up there now, so go check it out. Uh, link to the merch is up there. If you want to buy merch, I really appreciate it. The little money I do make from it goes directly back into supporting the reptiles. So, yeah, buy some merch. It's reasonably priced. I priced it low enough that I'm not making a ton of money and everyone can afford it. Yeah, I know it's like there's a recession going on. So if I promote these things, the, like, the takeaway here is thank you for watching. I appreciate you watching. That's the most important thing to me. Uh, but if you want to support the channel in another way, buying merch is awesome. If you want to become a patron, that is awesome too for as little as a dollar a month. It really does help. I know it seems like it's just a dollar, but it really does help me. Uh, yeah, anyway. A Leopard Gecko Olympics. What events would be in Leopard Gecko Olympics? Uh... What do you do aside from YouTube and stand-up? I do a few things. Like, I got a property that I manage, and I do some, like, account management stuff. Stuff. Since marijuana is legal in Canada, I was wondering, do you smoke weed? Do you really think on a family-friendly channel I would say yes if I did? Gotta go. See you later. Hey, silly goose. Man, I love calling people silly goose. I think you should do that more often. Thank you very much for the five bucks. I really appreciate it. Uh, goes a long way. That'll go towards feeding. 
faster eater. Do I play guitar? Not well. Yeah, thank you very much, Delegus. I appreciate that. Do I what? G. Robertson. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Yeah. Yeah, and I do like vlog vlogs, like real vlogs on Patreon. I think what I might do is I might release them like a month after, but there's two up there now. So if you like that type of thing. Uh, have you tried Leopard Gecko gender experiment? What, what's that mean? My favorite song. Oh, man, I haven't thought about that in so long. I don't know. That's tough. My favorite band ever is Slipknot. So I don't know, maybe one of their songs. I don't know. Uh, what's your favorite food? Not dill pickles anymore. My favorite food ever, I don't know, I like eating burgers a lot. Yeah, what's the gender experiment? What is that? I don't even know what that means. Have you ever seen Slipknot in concert? Yeah, twice. I saw them last August, and I saw them in 2015. But one of the best shows I've ever been to. Like, I love seeing live shows that, like at smaller venues. To me, those are cooler. But, yeah, slip, like just the pyro. The amount of pyro that they set off in one show is probably the equivalent of what my house costs. Like, just crazy. I love that band so much. Uh, Enjoy the chat. Hey, Charles Wanner. Wanner? Sorry, Sunday money, I'll mispronounce your name. I appreciate it, Charles. Thank you very much for uh, popping by. I really appreciate that. Your fave thing to feed your geckos? Uh, mealworms. It's just easy. Eat poogers? What's a pooger? Burgers? All right. My phone's about to die, so we're going to wrap it up. If anyone has a webcam that you can find that will ship to Canada, let me know. I'd love to do a better, because I have like a full audio setup. Like I have a professional audio recording setup, so the audio would be better. Uh, and then if I had like better video, I don't know, just if someone knows of somewhere I could buy a webcam, like a decent one in Canada, please let me know. I really want to get better at this and do more of these. All right, one more question. Yeah, no, I'm not doing that below 50 thing again. I, I got to go eat with my lady. My girlfriend goes and buys all the groceries, and then she cooks me dinner. Like, I don't know what I did to get so lucky. She's awesome. One of your, uh, what are we doing? Your high percentage females. Uh, I don't know what you're saying. All right. Natalie's Reptiles, thank you very much. I really appreciate it. I'm going to answer one last question. And that question is from Dobie. What other reptile YouTubers do you watch non-reptile related? And as I write this, I want, or answer this, I want to see what you guys write. Like, what do you guys watch that isn't reptile related? Two main ones. The first main one uh, that I've been watching for a while and actually has helped me get better at videos, Peter McKinnon. I don't think he needs promotion. He's got almost 5 million subscribers. Canadian guy from Toronto, so he lives an hour away from me. Uh, doesn't know who I am. But Peter McKinnon. That guy is, it's like a lot of uh, vlog type stuff. He is the best photographer, videographer on YouTube in my opinion. I learned how to do most of my like little editing things from him. I learned how to use a camera from him. I learned a lot about lenses. Uh, Peter McKinnon is the guy uh, that isn't camera related or YouTube related excuse me, um, I've been watching a lot of Tucker Gott. So, I don't think I've ever talked about this ever, but I, paramotoring to me seems very interesting. If you don't know what that is, go look at Tucker Gott. You basically stick a fan on your back and have a parachute above you, and then you fly around like that. To me, that is so cool, and it's something that's very, very expensive to get into, but I would love to. I would love to try that. It's something that would take like time and energy so maybe down the line, but I watch a lot of Tucker God. I live vicariously through this guy. Base jumping isn't my thing, but yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Okay. Other than Reptile YouTube. No, I'm not answering more questions. That's it. 
Thank you very much for tuning in to Wicked's Wicked Reptiles. I really do appreciate it. Uh, everyone who sent me money, you guys are awesome. Thank you so much. And, uh, yeah, I think we'll do this on Friday. If you guys want me to do this on Friday, I don't know, tell me somehow. Go on Instagram, shoot me a message. I don't know. I'll do another one next Friday, and uh, i got to go blow my nose and pay attention to my lovely girlfriend who's making something. So, peace out, Girl Scout. Something else clever. <laughs>